Hey guys, Melinda here. Uh, this is my second time trying to record this, so um, my books are not in a box. Uh, but these are the second part of the haul that I got from um, the book outlet. Uh, it actually came in a day early, so I thought I would go over them. One of these books is from Amazon, uh, so I'm going to get that one out of the way first. And that is the um, Piper Parish. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about the books um, just because I'm going to do um, some separate little videos over a couple of the books and just kind of give you some um, little things about them. Uh, but this one is $17.99, but I got it, I swear I got it on Amazon for like $12. Don't quote me on the exact price, but I know it wasn't $17.99. Um, so I'm going to get that one out of the way. Uh, now for the book outlet. Uh, now, those of you who have watched my videos before, I buy a lot of books through book outlet because not only do I get a really good discount there, um, but I can use my Ebates. Uh, I will link the Ebates down below. If you want to use my Ebates link, you get $10 free when you use Ebates for the first time. And I get a little kickback too. It's for anybody, not just because I'm on YouTube or whatever. If you don't want to use it, just go to ebates.com, check it out. Uh, and you can use it if you wish. If not, no skin. Um, anyway, I'm going to get started with these. Um, now, I did get a couple of books that I have had before, but I have worn out. Um, I do that periodically sometimes because once the um, bindings start coming off, it's time to replace the books. I mean, come on, let's be real. Um, I know I've had a couple of people ask me uh, in DMs, um, why don't I just go to the library? Um, I have OCD. I don't like bent pages. If it's dirty here or the binding is looking kind of funky, uh, I really am not a fan. Um, and I'm just too OCD. I, I have too many issues with, with uh, um, public libraries. Not that they're a bad thing, just me personally. Plus, I reread my books well worth the money that I spend on them. So I'm, I'm good with that. Um, and that's part of the reason why I have a job, so I can buy the things that I want. Um, one of the books that I replaced uh, is an oldie. It's called Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret by Judy Bloom. Yes, I am 47 years old, and I will be rereading this because I absolutely love it. It was my first book I ever fell in love with, um, and that was when I was 11, maybe? Um, and then I got an adult version of her book, which is wifey. So, um, both of the, let's see, are you there, God? It's me and Mark. It was $9.99. I got this for $2.96. Um, wifey was $5.09 instead of $16. So, good on that. Um, I got a book for my husband, and that is the Beerology book. Figured he could browse over it and put it on the coffee table, make it a conversation piece, you know, when guy friends come over or whatever, you know. Um, and then I got... Oh, I forgot to say the price. I got this for $7.64 instead of $24.95. I probably won't go over a overview of this in another video. It's about beer. How's that? There's your overview. Um, I also bought a book for um, Jack. I bought him the Peanuts book. This is normally $4.95. I got it for $2.11. Um, and then I got... Two of the, the Lunar um, series books that I've been reading, I got the third book, which is Cress, uh, and I love the cover on this. And then I got Ferris, which is the fourth book, uh, so I'll be reading those. Uh, Cress was $10.99 normally. Um, I got it for $4.24, and this one was $9.99 normally, and I got it for $3.81. Um, I got Stealing Snow, which I had seen a lot about on um, Amazon as well as on YouTube. So I got this one. I got it for $5.09 and it is normally $18.99. Um, I also got Careless People, Murder, Mayhem, and the Invention of the Great Gatsby. Uh, and this book was normally $29.95 and I got this one for $4.24. Uh, this it is really, really good from what I have read on it so I'm pretty excited and then the last one I got is the Star Touched Queen uh, this is a duology I cannot wait to read it and get to the next one because I heard it's really good uh, it's normally $18.99 and I got this one for $5.09 so all the books that I got minus the Piper book um, all came from Book Outlet 
uh, and I had, there was a, they were having a 40% off sale and free shipping. So I took advantage of it and got me some more books. I'm almost done, uh, buying the 40 books for the year. Um, and then who knows if I go through those books, I'm probably going to end up buying more because I do love to read. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, those are the books that I picked up. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of them, if it, if it's an overview of what the book is, please don't leave a, a comment down in the description. I will be doing a video uh, going over some of these, um, I think I'm going to do one on the lunar, uh, the lunar series, except for, I don't have, there's one book I'm missing. I'm, I'm missing winter. So once I get winter, I'll do a series review, just giving you an overview of what the books are about. But I can tell you this much after reading Cinder and starting to read Scarlet, uh, it is a fairy tale meets cyborg meets, um, Hunger Games meets... Futurama, not Futurama as in the cartoon, but futuristic, I should say, um, kind of a, kind of a, a vibe. So it's really good. Cinder was a really good book. I read it in two days. Um, and Scarlet, I'm almost halfway through and I've been reading it for days. So it's going to be about another two day or, and then it will be on to Crest, which is, I think a little bit thicker than the other ones. Um, it looks pretty thick anyway. So, you know, it's going to be good when there's thickness to the book. There's a lot, a lot of stuff in there and they do intertwine with each other. So, um, because it is a series as you know, I said before. So anyhow, I'm going to make sure Jack gets his little book and then start digging into some of these. Um, I can't wait. And until the next book video, guys, keep on reading.